What up, though? What up, though? <laughs> Welcome to what? Um, uh, episode three. I don't even know. Season two. What up? What, episode what's up three. To this episode. Trace. Hey, be Trey. What up? What up? Straight clowning. In the building. Yeah. The family. Yeah. I'm Maximilian, by the way. Why oh, y'all starting to slow down? Yeah. No, I'm yeah. just, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm over here thinking about chicken wings and things. Like, <laughs> you ever been the wire? I'm thinking about some pussy. <laughs> she like, she, me too. <laughs> she like, me too. I'm trying to calm down now. I'm trying to calm down because my energy, everything, it's too much. Yeah. I do too much. So I'm trying to calm down. So yeah. I'm on a new path, man. I'm on a new journey. It's gonna be a different me. Maximilian, hello. Thank you, welcome, family. Huh? Oh, shout out to Danny and Glenn. They're getting married. I just left the bridal shower. It was so fun. Shout out to y'all. Congratulations. 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 Tanny. Tanny and Glenn. Tanny. Look, we celebrate Tanny. for y'all already. Yeah. We celebrate for y'all and little bro's birthday, but it all falls into place. It's yes. beautiful. Congratulations. Congratulations. I've only been to one wedding in my whole life. Really? Well, two. No, I think I've been no, two. I've been to no. I've been to one. one, one. Yeah, I was here my father got married. What is that time when you're an adult? <laughs> <laughs> Both y'all dance, fool. Right. Just say Papa, nigga. Papa. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who get married uh, that you know? Sure, my cousin. Oh, okay. okay. Congratulations. Right. Shout out to all the people getting married. Shout Love is beautiful. Yes. Love is it's in the air. Right. We've been, hey. Double F life. Married here right now. Fellas, hey. Yes. We've been, hey. We've been out here sipping lately, dog. It's been bad. No, no, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Hold up, nigga. Hold up. Hold that, 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 that shit, bro. Shit. We've been sipping, dog. If you a simp, be a simp. Look, I Tracy got to say it with us. One, two, three. Will, Will Smith, Smith as niggas. niggas. I don't want to say that, but y'all just made it. Y'all know I don't believe in that shit. That's why I can't. You break. are the company I, I you keep, my nigga. We've been simping. We've been. They, they call it simping. Oh, yeah. They call it simping. I call it huh? love said, or God. getting to get to love. He's a simp doctor. Open it up. Look, my my look. It's a My simp ass wanted to go to the strip club. So what I do? I say, hey, okay, we want filming that day. Hey, real, let's hit the strip club, nigga. For sure, which one? Nigga, true, let's go. We go there, some bitch ass niggas then busted niggas windows out out there. And out here being hot in the pants, being Y'all fat, windows? being yeah. sick at, oh, I hate you, 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 broke ass niggas. You niggas make me sick, bro. Every ass car that was parked on Mount Elliott, bro. That shit broke ass ass bum. You niggas what? make me sick to my stomach, you broke ass niggas. Some niggas bro. did that shit for sure, too. Definitely tell some young niggas did that shit. Too. Out here trying Walsh to be tricking and up. shit. Right. Being fast. That's all the fuck I gotta say. The Didn't see up. no ass and titties, but nigga. still. That shit had to happen. Well, y'all ain't see shit. Y'all ain't go inside? What? No, True. when it breezed. Yeah. They no, had the outside. Uh, yeah. They had outside, outside, outside next to it. Breeze. Yeah. That's oh, where y'all went to breeze? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, everybody was outside. Yeah, everybody was outside. Yeah, y'all niggas filed for that shit. Yeah. Broke okay, ass niggas make me look. Fucking I was with my lady friend. Place, nigga, when y'all text that shit, nigga, after marking shit, nigga, 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 they put a mod the original yeah. window in my shit, nigga. All right, yeah. original, nigga. Yeah. Yes. Brand new. No after See, little niggas Shout out to real for putting me like on, yeah, dog. Original, yeah, nigga. Man. You little niggas boss your paper. Dust yeah, ball ass niggas. Boss, niggas that bro shit is sick. Boss your motherfucking life What's up, the nigga? purpose, That shit is a disease. I don't want yeah. like, it. The devil is real, my nigga. Realize, the devil like, is real. Y'all gonna get caught, right? So what happens when you get caught? You gonna be looking stupid. I just wanna know what's the purpose of doing this shit. 
in the first place. The devil is real, though. Niggas is broken bombs. That's what I'm about. Broken bombs. Ain't shit. Ain't nothing but evil shit to inspire a nigga to want to do some dumb shit like that. Y'all need some counseling or something. Y'all need some mentorship, some guidance. Like, yeah, it's not hard to get no money, man. You just gotta apply yourself. Y'all niggas need balls. Y'all that need, too. Y'all need, <laughs> yeah, that too. Absolutely. Shit, that too, shit. Realistic Some, ideas shit, of probably life. Probably probably in the same boat. Because what's Some gonna shit. happen in 20 years? I guess monkey see, monkey do. You feel me? Nigga, I still be nothing. Nothing. Like, make it make okay. sense. Go get a fucking job, bro. Please. Go it's so much hustle. shit. Go it's so much money out here. Like everybody got phones in their hand. Everybody got technology. It's so many work from home jobs. It's so much shit. It's so much money out here. Like you can go get a get your fucking license and go do that um Instacart shit or any of that. Yeah. You can DoorDash, 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 DoorDash,
I'll let you finish out the school year at your school at DSIA instead of switching out school. You feel me? Because if I if I would have stayed there, I would have never met him. Thank you. You welcome. You welcome. It's just like decisions, like yeah. everything. It's, the shit is deep. Yeah, we might live in a, a fucking stimulation, a matrix or shit, but it's ours. <laughs> it's ours. Like, there's other planets, other universes, all of that shit might be... It, it, I'm sure it is real. It's real. Yeah. Um, I heard this... Uh, shout out to the angry man. That's my guy. I heard... He gave his theory on one of his episodes. He said that school taught us how to be, how to be factory workers. Cause he was like, think about it. He was like, he was like, when you hear the when you hear the bell ring, he was like, you go to class. He was like, he was like, you gotta be there at a certain time. Just like at work, you gotta be there at a certain time. You punch in. He was like, you go to lunch. He was like, you sit in the little lunch room with everybody. He's like, I be at work. He was like, then when you hear that bell go off, you go to your next class. Just like, you know, we almost at a certain time, you gotta punch back in for work. He's like, then you go home and yep, do it all again tomorrow. Five days a week. Yeah, five days a week. It's only America. It's only America. That yeah. school system is like this. Other but schools. That shit blew my mind. I was like, like, that's actually kind of active. That, that's yeah. very active. Yeah, that's yeah. very active. Hey, hey, real shit. Blessings. I was watching some shit with some little Indian or Asian boy, whatever he was. He got to get up at three in the morning and go chop wood with his daddy. Like, now, heat the house up. Then he got to take a hot bath and walk his ass to school in the low temperature weather. Hey. I mean, we are blessed in some aspects, yes, but we are very. So many other countries up. is far ahead of us, though. Nah, like, like, oh, fuck we're that we're shit. just <laughs> fucked up because we're greedy as fuck. Like, Hell yeah. that's, that's the dope. thing. Like, we just we don't know how to sit back and really appreciate what we have. We have to go find the next without. We are greedy as hell. Greedy, yeah. For no yeah. reason. I watch anime, bro. Do you know these fucking schools that these Japanese people be going to? Be having like rooms where they sleep in. They can take naps. Even their Pick even up. their workers, even their in like people who go to work every day, they are required to take fucking naps. It's they be, mandatory. They be having dorms for middle schoolers, so what kindergartners, about us? Like, high they schoolers. Do what's so wrong. They do what's so wrong. And then That's they why find smarter than us. You feel me? And they get fed That's healthier foods. They get they get fed great. Lunch. Shout the out kids. to Chungs, dog. The White kids. rice and gravy. I just had yesterday. Mwah. Shout out to Chungs, dog. Shout out to you. Oh, Kelly and Whittier. Y'all know what Chungs is, man. I seen, the, I seen it on your story. I love a good hood Chinese place. I uploaded my socials again, everybody, so I'm not doing shit. Nah. I don't know. I'm staying away from my mental health. And. Don't want to serious it out for a minute, but shit. Rest in peace. We gonna give a moment of silence. Rest in peace to Angus Cloud. You might know him as Fez from Euphoria. The show's like favorite character next to Zendaya. Right, literally, literally, fucking literally. We was all. Like, that shit broke my heart. Man. Him. That shit broke my heart. I said, I said, oh no, not him. It had me emotional though, because when I read yeah, the statement wild. where they, you know, from the family or whatever, you know, they so far, well, it allegedly is looking like it's self inflicted. Yeah. He really hurt by his dad. Yeah, and then his he dad really just died like yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, they say he was really hurt by it. I lost my dad. I was trying to drink myself. That entire week, just planning the funeral, I was drunk the, the whole week. I wasn't, I didn't eat. I was just drinking liquor. That's why I my shit fucking up now. I went through it. Like, I'm talking about nothing but drinking that whole entire week of planning this funeral. Because you just got to numb the pain. You you have to numb the pain to get through that because you you have to get through it. There's no, no, I don't feel like it. I'll do it later. Like, no, that's your parent. You have to make sure that your fucking parent is is laid to rest or you know yeah. celebrated properly. Exactly. And that's a lot of stress on us. And then dealing then not even to mention dealing with the family who was just tolerating y'all and then really fuck with y'all for real. But now the real shit started to come out. You gotta deal with that bullshit. Cause every
it feels like comes with family bullshit. Because not nah, even even the whole family entrance line is all weird. Okay, the immediate family is supposed to be up first. Yada yada. One family member who think they got privilege. Oh, I should be no auntie. Get your ass right back here. No, no auntie. It's just bullshit. Then to multiply it, I was in the most toxic relationship I ever been in in my life. And this bitch wasn't doing nothing to help my mental at all. That's why I'm fucked up now. That's why I'm okay. fucked up now. And okay. not even just her. Because that shit matters. And I don't know if y'all know, like, when your spouse or your significant other is going through some shit and you still ain't shit, if you're not being shit, when your significant other is going through shit, that's just gonna fuck them up even more. And no, it's not your fault. Like, it's not. But it does play a factor into their mental health. So you should definitely be fucking supportive. Think about them when they need you the most, period. Like, it's, it's stupid that shit like that even still happens. And not even to be funny, but it's still relevant for real, for real. There's a rest in peace to Mac Miller too. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, my boy Mac Miller. Yeah. Oh my God. The similarity, like, the fucking, and that was the first thing before they even start bringing that shit up on social media. And I, I told, guarantee like, you, I said this is fucking Still crazy because I had to go. You can look on my fucking Google history. I guarantee you, Mac Miller's death will always make you emotional for yeah. some reason because you can it's tell. Crazy. You can tell that that white boy was for real about his shit, and it will fuck me up. Is all his music was about how depressed he was. And all the drugs he was doing, and he needed God help. God damn, she a lucky ass bitch. But it is like, like yo, this he it. this nigga was telling us how bad it was though. Like yo, help me. Man, he's crying out for help. He but looked, made but the shit nobody... so fucking hard, bro. To where we just didn't even look at it. But I paid attention to it. I used to be on this nigga Twitter, bro. Like, just, I'm sure the people close to him seen that shit too. I hope you having a blessed too. day, bro. Like, I was really checking up because, yo, he was a beautiful soul, bro. That's why most of these rappers can't talk about his stuff because he was a real soul. When they say industry friends, he didn't do it. Nigga, no, you, he was a real friend. Even Angus Cloud, they asked Angus Cloud to, um, because obviously they have a lot of similarities. Um, they asked him to portray him in Mac Miller's uh, biopic and Angus Cloud declined because he didn't want to mess with his legendary exactly. status. He didn't want to fuck with it. And it was crazy, but I'm like... He would have been a perfect person to play. He would have been a perfect person. But still, dog, person but no, I fuck, fuck with it because he don't want to... Dog, you... Everything about him, right, even even before he died, <laughs> everything about him just reminded me of uh, Mac, Mac Miller. Miller. Yeah, yeah. Everything, and it's crazy because Angus Miller was 25, or uh, and Mac Miller was 26, or the other way around. But yeah, they were so Mac was 26, 26, and they were so close in age. Like every, it's just, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, he was in the perfect, perfect. perfect. Yeah. And what's perfect. crazy? I was thinking about it. I'm like, so when. These like really surprisingly self-inflicted uh, deletions happen. It just make you wonder, like, this is strange, dog. I mean, it happens. Mm-hmm. You just never know what to do. I mean, I just exactly, um... but it's like a motherfucker can tell you how depressed they are, what the fuck they going through. But then, you know what? At the end of the day, my nigga, we all going through something. So it's like all falling on deaf ears, bro. So it's like, we all don't give a fuck about other people's sh- shits that they got going on because we got our own shit happening. And it's like a whole fucking like crazy cycle, bro. I mean, do I sound crazy saying that though? No, I mean, I don't know. Cause- I tried, I, I was an attempter. We be sympathetic, I, I made but... this fucking status, and I, I made this status a couple days ago. I shared a picture. Um, I had took a picture, and I was at, I was supposed, I was at Lollapalooza, but I was just, I spent, I was just crying, like, it, that was the worst year of my life, you feel me? And I still took a fucking picture with a halfway-ass smile and posted it. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and I reshared it this year because I finally am like past that. Um, but that was the year that I tried to, that I made my attempt and I survived. Um, so I definitely feel where that is coming from. When, when that depression, especially when you have people that is egging you, your behavior on, instead of trying to help you. And then even, it, it don't matter, like, people are gonna get help when they're ready to get help. You can encourage them all you fucking want, but until they finally see, like, this is it, I need help, that's when they'll get the help. You know what? I came to a reality, right? And shout outs to my homegirl. Uh, well, I ain't gonna say that, but I got a friend. She recently became a widower. You know, she, you know, just lost her husband, and so you know that's been real tough. Well, of course. So you know, um, you just never know. It's like dog. Everybody going through something. Well, yeah. It's like you going through something, Everybody and then somebody is. else going through something. And you'll never know until you sit down and have a bigger conversation with them. And the most you can do is offer your support. Well, I'll just say this: we can uh, switch topics. Yeah. If you ever, oh, yeah, I was about to deep yeah. deep, deep, deep. If you ever feel, we can say for another episode. If you ever feeling down and depressed, I will always highly recommend therapy because a therapist will talk to you as because they're non-judgmental. And if a lot of people spoke to somebody who was not judging them, a lot of people will be a lot happier. They go, oh, I can confide in this person. They're not judging. Them. So always, therapy is the, the best option you can go to. Because a therapist yes. will never judge anything you say. And if they do, and, and if they do, and if you even feel like they do, you it is okay to be like, I don't want to do this with you. Find another therapist. Exactly. A lot of people stop because they're like, oh, this, ther- this therapist didn't work out for me. Like, it's okay. Uh, that happens. Yeah. Go find somebody that will work for you. Right. Don't stop until you find it. Did y'all see that Lizzo on some bullshit? They throwing oh, her ass on her belly. Hey, like, hey, hey, this look. bitch had these bitches walking from Manhattan to Brooklyn or some shit like that. I don't fucking somebody, know. That shit somebody right. on Instagram said, imagine being fat shamed by Lizzo. They like, ain't that some shit? Ain't that my oh, bitch? You no, know I said a lot. How people. fat you gotta right. be to be fat, fat shamed by Lizzo, big ass? God damn. That insecurity that just shows you insecurity stick with you it don't matter how much money you got what what thing you got insecurity stick with she you. lied about her entire brain I hope they cancel this bitch and she hate that shit I hope they cancel this bitch I want her to be canceled though I hope they cancel this bitch she tries to kill but listen it's three it's three of her three of her um assistants if y'all don't know Lizzo had three of her assistants file a lawsuit against her now only three of them are included in this lawsuit. However, so many more have been coming out standing with their story saying, this was my experience too. I, I've i been through this too. You have people from the choreographers down to yeah. like every, everybody in the crew. So, right, I ain't a part, of, I ain't part of the lawsuit, but I'll the tell you that this shit is real. coming out now like, yo, like she didn't say shit to me. I'm like, yeah. everybody not gonna tell the same story. Right? Everybody, everybody. If it walk not. like a duck, if just it quack like, like a duck, it's a Arkelly motherfucking situation. duck. Just like the R. Kelly situation, you know, we wanted to turn our heads, but it was like after so many people, it was like, damn. Yeah, like you everybody did not that gonna, shit. Like, everybody not gonna tell the same story. You feel me? You did that shit. She so had these like, bitches eating oh. bananas out of coochies out there, boy. Yeah, Ooh. for real. She did. She a bad motherfucker, boy. No, I give Lizzo that shit. That's she not, know how to party, nigga. That's not a bad motherfucker <laughs> because you got you got people eating bananas out of sex workers' vaginas. Ain't no tell and, how many, and, ain't no tell exactly, how many bitch was in there. Exactly. Before. No, but you know that what? That is potentially risky. Think about Amsterdam, <laughs> nigga. They get tested, nigga. Like, it don't, 
Yeah. They get tested, yeah. nigga. I'm with her on that shit. I'm with you on that too, man. Ain't no way in hell. I'm doing that shit. That's nasty. It's the shit. The crack around the corner could have hit. It's the shit, but that's the shit. No offense to anybody that Yeah, no. Okay, yeah, I'm straight. No, I'm with you on that. Y'all right. I'm good. Y'all right. All offense to you freaky motherfuckers who give shit like that. Y'all keep the sex workers. You too, Commissioner Detroit guy. Yeah, we ain't getting on him next. Oh, I said I can't. I won't. Fuck you, though. We getting on his shit. No, like, you doing that shit with your wife or you in a committed relationship? Yeah. But if you're doing that with a known... Right now, uh, if your wife or girlfriend like that, okay, do what you do. Upside uh, down pineapples. Y'all do what y'all do. With a known worker mm. and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Yeah, that's long up. sex worker, nah. That's crazy as fuck. So what you just pulled up on the side of... Uh, what if they say he was on schoolcraft or some shit? Yeah. You just pulled up on the side of schoolcraft, school crap, seen that bitch walking, and you like, come hop in it's my a car. It's creepy ass day, really. It's weird, dog. Right. And you thought you wasn't going to get caught at 7 o'clock in the morning. The sun is up. My baby, like, I'm up every day at 6. That nigga was getting up. folded so in what are you his cup. What are you? He was getting folders in his cup, boy. He was, he, was, he was getting he was getting something in his cup. The quickest picker up, boy, to yeah. get his ass we're up. Talking about the Detroit Police Commissioner, and y'all know what we talking about. He was caught three weeks ago <laughs> with a sex worker. He said she, oh. she jumped in his car oh, and, and he was trying to push her out. But oh, so she was giving him that gunk was on 5,000. Wayne County Sheriff rolled up and was like, nigga, what? That gay that ain't that list. Oh, Green tree, man. Oh, oh, man, boy, was that man. Wayne County Sheriff. Oh, they let the girl run. Oh, 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 that was she a pressure. He let up, up, up. Baby, we gotta get on. We gotta get on. Oh, oh, they ain't shit. They let the girl go. Girl, I'm sorry, y'all. That was so. He said, he said, I'm a commission. Can you help me out? Like, hell no. I'm changing. We go through slow. this every week, though. I'm, I'm changing uh, slow. We go through this every week. Yeah, it's so, going good. Commission, so that nigga funny. Yeah. That shit was crazy. That nigga like, crazy. Man. We came yeah. right. Like, come on. Shadow told him, like, hell no. We ain't about to let you go. What the fuck you mean? Just like those other two cops. We had another, um, with the girl. Exactly. Nah, he was his, he was in his fucking work car. Yeah, yeah. He, he's in the company ass. car. They ain't gonna be like, yeah. Yeah. and they don't give yeah. company cars to everybody. Yeah. Everybody don't, don't go home in a company car. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, oh, I'm a motherfucking commissioner. Like, get the fuck out of here. That's just stupid ass. Yeah, it's all these dumb ass. They done pulled up to his shit. Like, nigga, get your stupid get ass. Get your dumb ass out of here. Right, right. Commissioner by ass, nigga. Yeah, he's pulling ass since he's going I home at night with the girl. Like, yo, somebody stole my shit. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> crazy as hell. Like, yeah. that's a good idea. You that is car red headed, nigga. You gotta take that shit. Right. I know he got a wife, bro. He probably can't Ooh. run. Did you see him? A nigga gets paralyzed when he's receiving so, the golf golf, nigga. That's all it. right. So, question: If y'all was the commissioner and y'all got caught in that position, what you gonna say? I'm running, nigga. I forgot. <laughs> you me? I'm trying to get away. I'm, I'm already like, I'm like, no, I'm you like, see, you, you, he already you fucked. You think you saw me, but that wasn't me. Right. He I'm already like, fucked. You gotta get your ass out and get the fuck out. my life. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that nigga foul anyway, because it's like, nigga, why would you go out on the street? Like, all these motherfuckers selling this shit online and shit, you gonna find Ooh. It's got these little motels. I'm pleading insanity, nigga. I'm talking about pleading insanity. But it was 7 o'clock in the morning. Check in. Check in ain't. It wasn't checking yet, but nigga, wait. I was, I was, I was, I was sharp I don't know and digging my ass and lick my shit to get out of that, nigga. You gonna lick what? Hell no, they still gonna give you that time. I didn't say that. Order. It ain't shit he can say. I'm definitely gonna that shit. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, you ain't I would've like called a mental. I would've been like, I'm having a fucking mental. Right That's now. my evil twin. What the fuck you talking about? Low key, the nigga could've said I was trying to catch her in the stage. Yeah, oh yeah, I ain't pleading. And got the fuck away. But See, but he he was too thinking. busy getting You got to think right. about what you going to say ball. before you get caught. Like, that nigga going to be thinking straight while she ain't got me. You, know? <laughs> you should have thought about that shit before you started you getting your ball ball. You you even if, that, even if yeah. the story is true, if that bitch really did go in there with a gun, like, huh, pull your cocks out. Wait, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> no, what the nigga should have did, he was like, I tried to catch her in this thing. I was making sure she won an undercover cop. But she gave me the gun, dog. She gave me the gun, dog. And I was paralyzed. I forgot who I was. All I'm saying is if you're going to get caught up on some bullshit, before you go do the bullshit, make sure you got, like, your your stories together. Like, uh, story A, story B, story C. I can't be mad at that nigga. Hold on. If they ask you, 
why this look like that, you need to have an excuse for motherfucking everything. If you're gonna be or a bullshit. He should as much as my girlfriend. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh hell no. Hell no. She got hey, a new friend. This, 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 sir, you're married. Sir, you're married. I was like, sir, stay right here. And I heard what Monty said. He was like, shout out to the prostitute pretending that we soulmates. Too late to say, I'd have been like, yo, I'm the commissioner. I'm cheating on my wife. This is my side chick. What they would have said? They wouldn't say you nothing. You are cold heart. But no, it works. Because it works because they would have just been like, all right, we'll keep it pushing. I ain't got an argument for that, dog. It worked, though. It worked. I ain't got an argument for that. That could work. That if he'd have been like, yo, this is my lady, I'm chilling with her. Just not I'm made a, it look like a prostitute, stupid. Right, yeah. No, this is my, this my side chick. Yeah, this is my side chick. Bro, what up? No, this is my side chick. They would totally believe that. Like, and then, um, it is what it came out. Like, oh, commissioner cheating on his wife. I done went home and told her, like, it's your fault. I got to go see her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then you wouldn't have launched him. You would have still been commissioner. Yeah. Typical nigga. Right. <laughs> I don't if it wasn't for you, you was doing what she was doing. I would be out there selling the order. Getting yeah. some golf, golf, 5,000. Well, it's yeah. your damn fault. At least he keep his job. You might lose his marriage. Well, you giving me some no, no zeros, bitch. <laughs> what do you think I'm about to do, bitch? But no, this dumb ass shit never been out there to begin with. Exactly. I know it's a lot of guys that's in sexless relationships. Um, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Hey, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't either. That's why we need, just need to make sex clubs a normal thing, though. Know? Everybody just get that It is in Vegas. They have sex clubs in Vegas. Lady, start giving it back up to your man. I've never. Fella, stop jerking yourself out of you if you're married. You still can't be. Right. Come on, do some weird shit. No, fellas, if you're in a relationship, just stop having wandering eyes, nigga. Like, just go a whole day without even paying attention to another bitch. That's like, impossible. That's, yeah, but that's impossible. That's impossible. Don't disrespect your lady. Like, don't have no wandering eyes when your lady around. Yeah, now that's some disrespectful ass shit. Like, if your lady here and you still looking at a chick, like, hell, I don't do that shit. Well, I guess I'd never be in a relationship then because I literally is on the fuck out of all bitches, bro. I won't look at nothing for a whole day. I've done it. No, I can't. It's not impossible, but yeah, I, I just can't do it. I give y'all a tip. AirPods, nigga. All you gotta do is put them AirPods what do in. What AirPods gotta do with a fat ass walking past you? Exactly. Oh, you know, look. well, it's different for me yeah, because. Fat. I'm well, zoning into my music. He said he be zoning out. So I'm so zoning into my booty, music, nigga. A fat booty status chick walk past you. You ain't looking. You would. Oh, oh, yeah. Dead. Yeah. What's up, girl? No, I call bullshit on that. Uh, Janae Monet, whatever fucking name. No, your yeah. girl walk past Janelle Monet. You ain't zoning out to that. I call bullshit. Janelle Monet walk up to you and flash them titties. You, you ain't gonna look. You ain't gonna look. You ain't gonna look. I mean, she would have to walk <laughs> That motherfucker got caught with the commissioner called by fast. You ain't gonna look? She would have to literally tap me. She would have to tap me. First of all, that's why you got to always flash and some shit. All you got to do is drive down the street and they like, hey. If she tap me and then I look, then she tap me, grab my face, point my face right to her, and then flash me her titties. Yes, I'm looking. I ain't gonna lie. But if I see it in my peripheral, I'm not gonna look. This is, and I'm gonna say pause on this, but it was one morning, I'm driving back, that dropped off my stepmom off at work. So I'm driving back to my apartment, and I'm coming to the park for his shit. I bullshit you not. It was a nigga standing out there, pleasuring himself in the middle of the street. And I'm like, what the fuck? And there's a car, I'm riding up, going towards uh, the BP. And there's a car coming back going towards uh, uh, Charmers and shit. And the nigga, it was a white dude too. He rolled up to him, Ew. had a bottle, and cracked him in the head with it. Damn. Wait, the whoa! Fuck out the street. Wow. Wait, the oh. white boy cracked the guy? All this shit happened in one Get your ass out the street, nigga. I'm like, I have to go. Bro, I'm like, see that name I have my music playing. Yeah. I'm like, I know I ain't seeing what I'm seeing. I would have tried to hit him so, with the bar and see what happened. Hell no, I was like, I'm keep going, but. Then that's when I seen the white dude, like, as I'm riding by, he was like slowing down. And I seen him, he got out and was like, boom, get the fuck off the street. I would have threw a rocket. He might have had an Airbnb close or had property close that he was, you know. Oh, he probably that is crazy. Crazy. If I had, like, well, even though I don't drink Starbucks, but whatever kind of cup I had, the cup holder, I'd throw it at his ass or something like that. Oh, get I, your I, freaky ass off the fuck. I was dog. literally I was trying to. I was thinking of doing that shit, so I was looking for something. Why wouldn't you car. just use your car? No, I didn't take that. 
Like, you don't know, gotta some, actually hit some them. pennies in a cup holder or something. If I got pennies in that bitch, bitch I'm throwing them back. Bitch, 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 Speaking of that, y'all seen the video where old girl was throwing point, rocks at all the cars that was driving by? Oh my God, yes. What was wrong with that lady? Motherfucker turned around and hit her motherfucking ass, bro. Damn. Y'all better stop fucking with people. Right, right. y'all better quit. Mm. These people ain't playing with y'all ass. Cause I will hit you with my car. I, I, I will. That's why I got trust. Dang, I wonder if we can play like the clips like that in between this. Or yeah. like a little shit, voiceover it. over that shit while yeah, it's yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mine is yeah. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Oh. Damn. That shit was funny as hell, dog. Missed. Tossed a rock and he fucking missed. Goofy oh, yeah. ass. This motherfucker's gonna cause an accident right here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Holy fuck, he fucking hit his ass hard. Just ran his ass the fuck over. There he goes. Rest in peace to Paul Rubens, too. Oh, AKA yeah. Pee Wee. Yeah. Rest in peace. Pee Wee Harmon? Yeah. He died like right there. The same day. Yeah. Same day as Angus Cloud. Or yeah. the day before, I think. No, the day before the same it day. Might have been yeah, the day. Yeah, it might have been the same day, I think. It was like, the, the news got reported on the same day, I should say. Yeah. Damn. Pee Wee. Uh, Pee Wee's got reported right after because he got overshadowed by Angus. Yeah. I don't, well, well I don't think he got too much overshadowed, but he did, though. That's yeah. why I think it might have been the day before he passed. Cause I mean, because we, because Pee Wee been there, dog. He and then, answer. what's crazy is, everybody forgot that this nigga was in Matilda, dog. What's he? Yeah, he played the we ain't gonna even talk yeah. about how this nigga was in Matilda, dog. We, they was the, uh, the yeah, officer, yeah, yeah. police, or whatever. I think, was he in Blow, too? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Yes! I'm hungry again, because I'm thinking about that fucking cake. Man. I'm hungry, too. Damn, shout out to man. Rest in peace, Pee Wee, man. Yes, rest in peace, Let's get into some funny shit. Let's get into something. Who, who, somebody talk about. I want to talk about how octopuses is uh, aliens, though. And then now that the whistleblower, the whistleblower is saying like, oh, people have been harmed by some aliens before. That's and, not the first whistleblower. But... Yeah, exactly. And it's funny to me because like. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, uh, bless you. Thank you. Shook the whole room with that one. <laughs> From Detroit, you can't sneak like that. That nigga can kill a deer with that shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, you that shit sounded like it. a rifle shot, nigga. <laughs> that nigga. I'm about to grab nigga, whatever you, the fuck is. You just got the buckshot, nigga. Yeah. For real. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I got Buck that son of a bitch. Yeah. I got that son of a bitch. I got that son of a bitch, Bill. Jay. I got that son of a bitch. Man, <laughs> no, I can't stand y'all fucking Ohio uh, motherfuckers, dog. I don't see how Dave Chappelle can live around y'all TV Torch Whites, man. Y'all niggas. Shout out wild. to Dave Chappelle because he gonna be here next month in September. Oh, and I swear I gotta get them tickets. I gotta get them tickets. I gotta get them tickets. Yes, I gotta be in that motherfucker, dog. I love Dave Chappelle. Where you gonna be at? Uh, uh, the, the, the. I ain't see. I don't really give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nigga, uh, what? Uh, uh, that didn't even stand it. I think the Little Caesar's Palace, I think. He was at the Fox last time. I think he doing a little season. He was at the Fillmore last time. I saw him. Did you tell him to sell out a little season, right? What the fuck? Hell yeah. He, he would, because he had to open two nights the last time he was here. Yeah, there's a real. He just did. Yeah. I like this shit. Hell yeah. He Detroit shot him a lot of love. A whole, a whole, lot, of, a whole lot of white people going to get that. Right? Yeah. yeah. And he going to be making fun of his day and yeah. motherfucking ass. He'll be horning on the whole show and they'll watch And they eat that shit up. They eat that shit up. And not bring your kids. Man, he that good. I love that. I remember he did the uh, Saturday night the Saturday night live shit. He was shading uh oh, the, the, 
Jewish. Yeah, yeah, he was shading them like a horn them on camera. And he but he did it so cleverly. Fuck. Like, they thought it was just a joke. He's really horny. I, I yeah. like his and, they, and he don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, his, that's why I love him. Like, he's one of the people you can never cancel. His never. podcast <laughs> that he be doing with uh, Tyler Kweli and uh, Usain Bolts. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Game most deaf. I like Miracle listening. thing, whatever. Yeah, I like listening to that shit. Speaking of podcasts, mm-hmm. Joe Button. Okay. Be careful. We that talk, nigga. You'll talk about my, Oh, wait, okay. He did the oh, most like, recent one. He talking about that nigga, the White House. I was about to bring that up. <laughs> that was, shit was funny as hell. I was about to bring that up. <laughs> White House would come to, to war. The White House would come to the front of the clay. Yeah, Warren and Max pointed that shit out. Yeah, that shit was funny. That as was funny as hell. I had been heard about that shit about the White. Well, hey, yeah, Joe Bud made that your, shit. Your boy, J.R. Wisdom. Shout out J.R. Wisdom. Yeah, Wisdom. yeah shout out J.R. Wisdom. What, what you want? What you want? I want to see that meat. He said, oh, I want to see that meat. He said, somebody he, said so, he sends him a picture of this cop. <laughs> this cop. <laughs> somebody said that uh, they think it's fake, though, because they don't like talk like that. Man, hell no. Nigga, that shit real. He <laughs> that shit real. Dwight Howard gay as hell. Oh, uh, yeah. Y'all yeah, better well. start listening to these motherfucking celebrities well, when they tell you shit. Yeah. And then one of the little niggas that was talking on each other. I heard that about They've been telling y'all yeah. about Diddy for years. No. They nobody yeah. listening. Now all of these motherfuckers are coming out time. confirming it. Like, it's yeah. like if whatever Dwight Howard or Diddy, like whatever they like to do behind closed doors, whether it's with it's, female or male. But they just come out and shit, my yeah, nigga. Just nobody come out. Shaming them for doing it, they just like just come out. I mean, just but that's what they shame. They're not worse than a gay nigga that's faking, dog. No, just come out and say it's, it's I don't even want to say. Know, I just, it's not that you're gay. It's not that you know you're hiding. I don't give a fuck about none of that. It's the 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 parties and like the weird shit that be going on that really fucks me up. For the real. only thing I've been hearing well, about. I don't even think we should talk about that. Well, I don't want to get into that. No, let's get there. Mm-hmm. Let's go there. I don't want to get to get the that other. Let's go there. Let's be the real, nigga. Community. Man, get that shit. Nah. Let's be real, nigga. Nah. I want to talk about just hilarious even. versus trans. Yeah, yeah I was there. Oh, I, get I your haven't even. On that. I, I haven't your... even went. I won't even um look at the story. I haven't looked at it. Well, uh, I want to play. But I, I, I have my own. Like I, I feel like. It's offensive to women. It is to us, like, when when you get up there to, like, babies, periods, like, pads, our pads had to get changed because, you know, we can't have women on the pads anymore, like, actual females on the pads or some shit like that. Like, it's just, it's, when it gets to that point, yeah, that's weird, but I feel like, you know, if you want to become a woman or if you want to become a man, it's up to you, you know, that's, that's you, that's you. What you I support about you. Them saying that y'all don't own periods. Well, I don't know what they mean. They what? literally are trying to. That's like, I don't have it a problem. Because that's and why you, I don't read the fucking shit. What? And I was gonna say I don't have a problem <laughs> with people being like if you like the same sex and now that's just your business and everything. I ain't got nothing to do with me. At the same time, though, with the I want to talk about the actual uh, gay community. I was talking about the trans. The rainbow community. Whatever the trans community. But well, the trans community was like, yeah. Like, yeah, hey. cause, so oh, no. Go ahead. I go go. So uh who was it that said it? Um the trans person that said it, they was basically like, Y'all women don't own periods because y'all can't define what basically what a period is or something like that. And she basically like y'all don't gatekeep. To what it is to be in a woman. Yeah, it's not gatekeeping gay gay period then. It's, it's God that's gatekeeping it then. What do you mean? I don't like whoever created They're trying to basically like, say, like, God it, it, it's, it's not God can do this. I, I, can't, I can't gatekeep God something that was word. given to me. That some that same thing that was given to <laughs> All you know, of us at birth. Yeah, I can't gatekeep that. That's not that's but if you want to call it, if you want to call it something, right. don't call it gatekeeping because that's not that. Because right. it's God. Take, take that over him. Right. Like gatekeeping. Up. I ain't gonna lie. Like, take up. this shit. Me and was warning y'all that this time was gonna come. No. Like y'all was please please take these fucking take periods. Side, take these periods. Take these. Take this pain. No, what they trying to do is move women out the way and say that we. This is the way women are supposed to be. Right. Like they, they trying to replace y'all. They change well, men. What? They shame no. men for not like we be like, yeah, well no, like if uh if somebody trans wanted to talk to me a trans woman, 
I was like, oh, I'm school. And they was like, oh, you're transphobic. Or whatever. I'll be, be that. I'm not. I'll be that. I'm not. I am not transphobic. Yeah, I'm really like, trying to replace biological women. I, if I, I have no problem with nobody. Like, I'm not transphobic, but I am not gatekeeping my fucking periods. Take this shit. Like, it, take it up with him. And if he... Take no. it. And she it. just said it. No, because, no. dog, when they, when they say, go through the periods, bro, yeah, yeah, my no. shit. They use gatekeeping as periods saying, like, that's not the only thing that makes you a woman. That was the whole argument. Like, it, it, it's, so they were saying that that's oh, because you I, have, I, I think, think it's that that everything that, that does make them a woman, bro. I see they, something they, and it confused me. Yeah, that's what it, I see something that did confuse me that said, like, if you, you were born with, you were born a female, not a woman. And I was just like, what? But I'm ignorant. I, I'm ignorant to their their perception of why they're thinking like that. So that's why I'm trying. Cause I, I I don't have a, I don't know nobody personally that is trans. So I try not to form that opinion because I don't want to be like, why the fuck you you feel me? I but you know what? I don't want is, to speak to someone like this is like the perfect. It's easier why. said than done scenario. It's easier said than done. Yeah, you say that, okay, y'all can't get keep that. We should be able to have this too. Okay, go through it. Go through it. Whatever, go you through tripping. it. You're tripping. Go through it. <laughs> you tripping. Right, you <laughs> go through it. And then tell me how you feel after you go through it. His, his, his thoughts. Well, his, his, because his most of the women I know, kids. they hate their periods. And it, it just make but everything about the their is just bad. That, that they bring up that we can't, which is factual. If you put 10 men and sorry 10, to disrespect the trans, 10 trans, trans, trans women on the island, I apologize. And they die on that island. And when people go and dig their skeletons up, they're going to find 20 men on there. Yeah. And here's another fallacy that, you know, trans women have to understand that what separates you guys from actual real women is that when you guys get when you when you when you trans women get upset you release what's called testosterone that's when your voice get deeper and you really upset see women don't produce that and you can't get that shit out of you no matter what no matter how many hours you get when you get upset your testosterone is going to flare up because that's what men have Hey, y'all women don't have that. Hey, y'all can't all. use that excuse either to be fighting women either. Exactly. Like, you know you physically. Yeah, you know, don't do that. Don't do that at all. Don't do that. Don't do that women, because right. I'm calling all my like I'm calling all my girls. And like, you know what? I, I, do, I deeply because apologize because I'm not right to shoot your ass. Right? I deeply yeah, apologize because, you're still because stronger than me. I don't have a say so with none of this. I'm not a woman. I'm not a trans. I'm still fight your ass. So I apologize for all that bullshit. So I'm just gonna leave it like but that. But I'm still yeah, kick the right. fuck out of it. Remember, y'all still that community is very popular. Shout out to my cousin who loves the trans community. <laughs> you know, I mean, you I, I love everybody. I and mean, they start with I don't G. judge. I don't judge. <laughs> but then I think that should be. I think. I think that's another love language, like that. we talked about the last time, like the, the last episode. I think that's that's my love language, is shit talk. I talk shit. So if I talk shit, that means I love you. Well, I got you know, some I love. So we, got, we got people in our family, like our immediate family. That's, that's in the rainbow. Community. And when I was talking to my cousin about it, he even said, he's like, yeah, I don't even get this trans stuff. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people in the rainbow community don't agree with the trans women. Yeah, because it actually, women don't, it don't put a bad period. perspective. But then, like, I'm, I'm not a guy, so I can't judge. Mm. So like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I didn't met trans already. I know trans already. And that's no. it. That's all. And that goes so, for trans. It's like, I'm cool with them. For anybody. I'm an ally with, with, with all of them. I'm, I am an ally. So when I say my love language is talking shit, they notice. I talk shit. That's what attracted them to me or me to them. One or the other. Pause. Not pause. Huh? Ooh, <laughs> what? Double pause. That was a pause. No, because that, that sounded crazy. That was pause. That sounded crazy. Yeah, I'm worried that it's a little bit better. Not <laughs> like that. I don't go that Not way. Not that way, but I I, I am yeah. a straight male. You know, let's go that way. But I became friends with them, like we, you know, friends, like, cool. So, you know, shout outs to everybody, man. I'm, I'm an ally, man. 
I just don't. I don't like judging a particular group of people, and and I feel like because you cannot because just like people judge black people, for example, people judge black people. They say oh, all black people are worst. thugs. You feel me? They can all say what they want. We go through it the worst. They they feel like we all are one way, but we're not. So that's how I feel about any group of people. Like cops, cops is one thing. Cops is right. another. You can say. You can say all day, like, all cops is crooked. All cops not crooked. Like, all cops aren't bad cops. I'm sorry so, to understand that. Too. You feel me? It's, it's not always, you cannot judge one person individually based on an entire demographic. You Rest in peace, that. Officer Will Smith, too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go you can't do that. I got a story about the police. So this happened <clears throat> last week in uh, Frisco, Texas. Now, rest in peace. So, uh... Yeah. Damn. This black lady cop, she yeah. seen this car. It's like a Challenger. It's all black. I seen that motherfucking story. That yeah. shit was crazy. She, I was that shit. she ran the place, man. She meant to put uh, black lady too. Arizona in, but she put Arkansas in. Fucked so, up. So the police thought the car was stolen. So they came and they had guns drawn and stuff. And so it was this black family. They made them get out the car. And it was like two little boys in the back. And they had guns drawn them. So I'm some back up, this, this, and that, and they handcuffed the boy. Put them in the so car. They, yeah, put them in the car. So finally, when they found out, they had fucked up. Like, like I felt so bad for their dad, because the dad was going for him. He was like, man, you got guns on my son. You you put him in handcuffs. Like, dad broke down his tears. Because mm -hmm. he was just so, yeah, like. Nothing he can do about it. Yeah, nothing he can do about it. And he's exactly. like, he's like, I ain't want my sons to go yeah. through. Yeah. He's like, y'all the profilers. Y'all got guns drawn on them. And they apologized to him and stuff, but it's like, y'all done traumatized him, no? Yeah, right. I be trying to sell him. No, there it is. Oh, they're going to definitely get some money out there. Cause that was uncalled. Oh, yeah, definitely. Then the black cop come and say, yeah, that was my fault. I meant to. Because the thing is, like, it, it's like they, they double check. if you pulled them over and they pulled over, you see they got kids in the car and stuff. Like, obviously, they're not trying to run or do anything. So why would you? What's the need Keep for your guns? guns that, yeah, yeah, that's what I say. I think that would be the one case where it should just all be chill, bro. Because, dog, what I'm about to do with my kids here, man? Right. right. Then the point everybody's making was like, they could have lost their lives off an of old girl mistake. Mm -hmm. She put the wrong, the wrong state in. Like, bro, can we just be chill? How the hell you can like, still Arkansas from Arizona? Exactly. Like, whatever, nigga, just ask me to get out of the car politely, nigga. Like, just, hey, okay, right, I know, got you I know this, you got your fucking car. Yeah, like, I know this, you got your kids right here, so your children here, so can you just step out and yeah, then we can talk? Pull like, over I'm not gonna even look, and then tell them like, look, I'm not gonna even grab you, I'm not gonna touch you. Like, you just, just walk on over here with me and let's just talk about something real quick. Let's see where this go. Right. Some type of cool shit. Like, bro, we don't have to have all this static when I got my children, bro. Yeah, it's like, now nah, you, now nah, nah, them little boys look at it like, oh, when the police come up to me, I got fear for my life now. Because they had guns drawn. That's them. the thing, we got to have that, which especially when you have, in these days and times, when you have uh, black children, black and brown children, you got to have to talk with them eventually anyway. Like, yeah. when you see the police, Keep your hands where they can see them. Don't reach for shit. Keep your hand on that steering wheel. Don't nigga. back talk them. Just be cool. Yeah, that's a shame that you have to tell your kids like because they your, your life is literally in danger yeah. when that's when they right. when they approach you. Like you are in your life is in danger, yeah. and that's messed up. You gotta have talk. Yeah. I hope my kids never have to go through no shit like that. <clears throat> Maybe the aliens will change that shit for us. Christ will. But you know what? You said Chrysler? Christ. Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm he coming back. He, Christ. Christ. Oh, no, no. he coming back in the space. So, my thing about the goddamn aliens uh -oh. is... Here you go. <laughs> why they... All right, so... The fucking whistleblower. He said this and that. So, nigga, obviously, if you've seen all this, it ain't never once you had access to this to be like, oh... I mean, snap with pictures of motherfuckers that believe me more. They the kill. How would they know? He talking? Oh, they ain't gonna kill him. Nigga, if you so work in a little say, project okay, like that, nigga, and you play. are a watch, nigga, 24-7, yes. nigga. Yeah. They can chalk everything up. He's saying not to like, man, this nigga crazy. He don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, that's my Because Because he had no proof. He had no proof. So, so they would kill. That's why he went to the courts, nigga. 
He said, yeah, because them niggas can't touch me. They can't do shit to me while we in this room. And then if I end up dead, more than likely they had me killed. So it was one of them situations, nigga. That's why people ain't taking that shit. They laughing about it. But we already knew aliens been here. And then, dog, let's keep it real. Aliens been fucking white people up. When he said, yes, humans have been harmed. White people, bro. (laughs) Aliens are niggas from Africa from outer space, dog. They they just make it. They build it a new Africa for us. They getting shit prepped for us, dog. We about to be good, bro. We don't need to build another Africa. Shout out to the aliens, dog. Hurry up and get that Africa done, dog. Hell no, we don't need another Hey, my nigga, nigga. Hey, if they say niggas didn't do it, then I guess the aliens built the pyramids then. If niggas didn't do it. That's what I'm saying. No, nope, niggas did. You gotta go to history. Africans put us in slavery. Because niggas are aliens, bro. Like, the aliens are niggas, bro. And people be thinking They that copied we, us, nigga. They be thinking we and Africans are all the same, but we not. The aliens copied us, niggas. All they niggas, too. They getting shit ready for us, bro. Stick with that. Imagine a world with no Caucasians, nigga. Just imagine. There's no Caucasians. They ain't gonna have no light skin, baby. That's for sure. No white. Imagine a world with no white, nigga. Come on, now. Woo, how beautiful. Look, see how peaceful and serene it just was? It would be just so peaceful. Shit, I was Niggas could just go celebrate. We could do everything we want to do. I got a special place in my heart for Esau, but uh, Africans, uh, Arabs, Chinese, like all of them, the same. Like, they hate us. They hate us. Why we on fucking aliens? Where the fuck, where the fuck did octopuses come from? Because now I'm interested in this shit. Because the octopuses are really, the octopuses are really aliens, nigga. Well, then we technically we all are. Yeah, all we animals are. Think about, <laughs> think about, especially from the ocean. And I told y'all before where aliens really come from. The or, ocean. No, from Mexico. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> in a, okay, don't in a dictionary. Don't play with my Mexicans, dog. Hey, hey, they are people too, but... but no, Shout out to my niggas in Tijuana, in Chihuahua. You see, I got... Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Oh, really? In yeah. Mexico? Chihuahua, Mexico. Wow. It go down there, like I'm kinda scared. You see, you go from, from dust to a dawn, nigga. I think they was in Chihuahua, Mexico, cause that shit was going down. Hey, real. Yeah, bro, bring me a <laughs> Just bring that whole thing on over one. here. What you mean, last one? I'm gonna start catering shit from now on. I'm just gonna start having the catering of food here. Sure. When we do an episode, I'm gonna have a catering of food here. So everybody gonna be. Yeah, bring them. I'm gonna have them catered. I'm gonna have some catering food from now on. Y'all was talking about food. Huh? Okay, where? Which company? Think about it, though. I want some chili cheese fries. What birthed the octopus, bro? What birthed the octopus? The ocean. Literally. What birthed the whale? What birthed the motherfucking snail? Come on. The ocean. What birthed anything stuff? that looks weird? These fucking weird ass insects and shit. This thing got a brain. Stuff. It got a brain in each arm. Yep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why would you tell me that? Yeah, dude. Thank no, you. because this blew my mind now. Because I'm like, yo, these motherfuckers are really aliens. They can get out of any tight spot. Because cause they have no bones. They can shed their own arm and just regrow it. <laughs> the octopus is cold. And, and they can blend in with any, any surface. Wait, y'all for real? And yeah. when they... An octopus will land on that rug and turn into that color. And... It, it will turn into it. They don't the swim... Octopus are camouflage. Yeah. They don't survive. swim as much, and what's crazy, crazy when they crazy. swim, they heart, they heart stop when they swim. Yep. So that's why they and crawl. They beat that's the why middle, they crawl. The they mouth. When they swim, they heart so stop. So that's why you see them crawl. Y'all, I am. No. Uh, look at the octopus documentary. They actually fascinate. Yeah. They are. They real fascinating. Like that shit blew my they fucking got mind, bro. Eyes on the side, um, they can see in the dark. All oh, that sounds like a big ass. Well, insect. This is the perfect fucking like everything in the mammal. See in the dark, thing, yeah. This is the perfect thing, bro. Well, like they have to because what do you shit. call them? Uh, the perfect aquatic. Yeah, uh, uh, perfect aquatic marine. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was seeing something, and it was like they um, put a tracker on this ten foot whale. Uh-huh. Or a shark. They put a trigger on this 10-foot shark. That's a big-ass shark. Right? 
So the shark went down. They caught the tracker. The shark went down. Like he was down there in oblivion. The oblivion is what they call it. Um, or whatever. Something ate the fucking shark. Damn. Something, something bigger. They still don't know what. Something bigger oh. ate this shark. Megalodon, motherfucking Godzilla, Megalodon. Megalodon. Shout out to that Megalodon movie come out uh, next Friday. Uh-huh. But y'all know them, they said some aliens, like seven, they said seven UFOs was spotted coming to Earth, but we knew that. I knew that. I mm. want one so I can teach them how to smoke weed. They just niggas from talk. Africa from, that's what we should do. Aliens come, some of these lead with them, they gonna learn their technology. Shit. I don't want to die going They got it set already. They building it for us, dog. Isn't that crazy? Hey. Watch this. Watch this. Nigga, when the aliens drop down here, nigga, they gonna be like, hey, my nigga, do this. They do this. Hey, Siri. Do this, and then nigga, you gonna have a shield and go out of space. Nigga. Listen. Hey, Siri. <laughs> Listen. How many humans? Fuck. Hey, Siri. Hey, how many humans are live on Mars? Oh, yeah. I, I saw that shit on Facebook. Oh, bitch, you told me something different yesterday. Dude, oh, did you post that shit? Anyway, it I is swear I did. Bill- it says well, I seen you do it on TikTok. It says ten billion humans, even though it's fandom, but that's still crazy. No, yeah, it's yeah. No, cause I seen you do it on TikTok. Like, what's the population on Mars? And it was literally no, like about one million some people out there. I'm like, yo, what? They trying to colonize Mars within the next decade. And when they, they do, do that shit, though. hey, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all get fucked up living up there. Yep. When the white yeah. people talk about, nigga, they got it set for us, nigga. Motherfucker, Decepticons don't come and like, get your bitch ass. Right. You don't know what the fuck about to pop up. They got it set for us, nigga. Shit from your wildest imagination about to pop up. They got it right. set for us. Y'all can keep that shit. I'm good where I'm at. This is what God question. told me to be. This where I'm going to be. Here's a question. What up, dog? If you can choose any planet to live on, where would you live and why? Earth. Why? God told me to be here. And I don't want to go against him. Mm-mm. Watch you, man. Yeah, I, I don't want to trust you, man. You're damn it. It's only way crazy. If I had to pick, I would live on either Saturn, because we got that ring. You want to ride with <laughs> Saturn, Jupiter, because Jupiter remind me of Planet Namek. All my Dragon Ball Z fans. <laughs> Yeah, I think Jupiter really is like planning that. <laughs> Why you got me changing my mind now, dog? No, nah, well, he like, didn't put that in a whole right. different perspective now, like dog. Being yeah. on planet Namek is kind of dope, dog. Right. And I'm like Jupiter, like planet. Well, it'll Namek, never get dark there. Right, I would never leave. It'll never get dark there. It don't. It don't never get dark. It don't never get dark. No, it got like 19 suns. Right time of the year. It got like 19 suns. That's crazy. And don't, don't get dark there. 19 sun. It's sunny all day, every day. Right. Even at nighttime, the sun is blazing. Shout out to Planet Namek, dog. <laughs> I swear. Yeah. Unless the dragon come. You know, when the dragon come out, it get dark. Yeah. They're like, oh, dragon. somebody summoned the dragon out of this motherfucker. Somebody about to make a wish. Make a freaky ass wish. Oh, God. Freaky ass Dwight Howard. You a nasty man. Let that nigga be a freaking gone. Just come out and just say you gay. This nigga in the in the DMs like, I ain't gay or nothing, but <laughs> I just like I'm boy. just I just like being nasty. Right. I just like you freaky wrong. ass boy. There's nothing wrong with you like me and Dwight Howard. Please, like, come on. I don't like men, but the White House is perfectly fine for you to like men. It's perfectly okay. Perfectly fine. Hey, y'all see the uh... Just say it. I, I ain't gonna lie. I told my lady friend the other day, I'm like, I couldn't imagine if I was you fucking me. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Say it again. What? 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 Say it again. <laughs> Who is man's man up there? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> Attractive. 
I'm like, that's why I'm like, if I was you, I'm like, I wouldn't, I was just seeing, speaking from her point of view, I was like, I couldn't be you and fucking me. And that's just with any man, though. Like, I couldn't like the chick you talk to. I couldn't. Never mind. Who man's is this? The fuck you no, mean, no, no, no. It's all, it's. Would you talk about secret? Now that you bring that up, I'm it's, starting to notice that my nonchalantness is really tight. What do you mean by that? What you mean by that? My shit is really tight. Confidence is, it don't matter what you look like. Oh. Confidence is I don't the give a best fuck. thing that you can have. Confidence. And women, all women have their own type of preferences of the men they like. Yeah. And, and I'm not an aggressor. Shit, say, I, I am not a, I am not an aggressor. Women like all variety of men. No, I'm just saying, I'm just not into men. We okay. did, but, but you talking about. But you gotta understand your. Picture of fucking yourself. We like, what? That's kind of. Yeah, but well, you, you understand. My cousin said it. He was like, if he was a chick. My nigga, know your word. My cousin said it. He was like, if I was a chick. Cousin I was, who? I ain't gonna. I think I'll. Okay. He was like, but if I was a chick, you know, I would fuck me. I mean, it's not wrong with a man being confident. That's a little too confident. You're like, what? Well, girl said she was like, she like, shit. She like, if I was you, I'd fuck me. Okay. I'm like, I would too. I say everybody got their preference. Me and like all type of women, women like all type of women. It's, yeah, it's whatever I, she likes. Like I said, my flaw is like, I think sexy red is a sexy motherfucker. Well, I think T-Ray will pop the fuck her. I she told y'all. Yeah. yeah. He put his caption on Instagram. He's like, I told y'all sexy red like fat niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to T Ray. I'm gonna put this belly on her back. But niggas in the comments was like, hell yeah. They're like, oh, I gotta go there like that shit, huh? Yeah. Shit, was in the comments, man. They're like, wow. Speaking of, speaking of sexy red, Summer Walker was outside. I yeah. support oh. that night. Yeah, oh, after the little Meech cheated on her ass. No, wait, hey, no, wait, wait. no, 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 he was helping hey, his cousin. Right. Hey, y'all really think he was helping his cousin? Hell yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that nigga had one man most of the time out there when he did that. I support that. Summer Walker too. Well, look at Meech leaving a baby mama with three kids and two baby daddies. Oh, here you go. Oh, here you go. Oh, shit. <laughs> he did. Oh, I'm talking here, Munchkin. No, this is simple media. No, he was helping his cousin, though. It was one bag in his hand. Yeah, and then she was like, look, you want something to drink real quick? He said, hell yeah. She was fully clothed when she let him out the door. They said she got yeah, he got fat ass booty too. She and I think I know who that was too. I don't even know how it looked like who. Mm. At the same time, it's like Summer Walker. Only thing I, I like her music. She makes some dope ass music. Summer Walker got the fool with her Sukiyana. Oh, she's doing red, handstands, popping on the cards. I'm like, get it, y'all. She was doing a handstand. I'm like, God damn. Bust it. Yeah. But you know, wow. people people was talking shit. Like I seen a lot of posts, like people, men talking shit. Like you know, she needs to be at home eating ice cream. Like nigga, serious as fuck. Wow. She needs to be at home eating ice cream and and trying to heal. What the fuck do you mean? <clears throat> you can't tell somebody how to heal if she want to go out. She don't want to cry about the nigga. She want to go out and have fun. Ain't nothing wrong with going out and having fun, no. huh? Now her level of ratchet. No, it, it wasn't. It was only a few months. Would Ratchet and Chicken Head yeah, be the same? Oh yeah. 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 Ratchet, so no ratchet, is, ratchet and Chicken Head. Is chicken, chicken. I be bi I'm biased with some. She is my favorite Chicken Head. I, like I fucking love Summer Walker though. Chicken, chicken. I can relate. Oh, Summer chicken. Walker is relatable. She's absolutely she like she has stage anxiety. Like she shows her actual anxiety. That's fucking relatable. Yeah. Like. She's going through these heartbreaks and shit. She she posting about it. We go through fucking heartbreaks too every day. Be like, fucking she got different baby. Niggas, I don't like, have different baby daddies, but a lot of people do. They can yeah. to that. Do you she's know how much old. better these R and B bitches' lives would be better if they just fuck with normal normal niggas for a change? Oh, just about to say that. No, yeah. fuck with a normal nigga. Like they lives be so much better. A no, nigga who like, was CNA somewhere, like fuck with a normal nigga. They, they like look that. how like look, look how perfect your life gonna be. They like that toxic shit though. They yeah. do. A lot of so, people. I mean, do. It's, you gotta look at it as like the history of the guys that we know and that she been messing with. I mean, I got a few R and B girls that just need to fuck with me. The, you know what? I love truck drivers. I want to meet a truck driver. Bitch, find me. Yo, if you R and B bitch and I didn't double tap your shit. If you love truck drivers, 
hit your boy, well, shit, you can't no more. Mm. Never mind. Mm. Anyway. <clears throat> yes. Some walk was doing the dog. Cool that, would be me. that would be me, and I'm not ashamed of it. If I could do a handstand, <clears throat> motherfucker, I would be out. Get, give me a couple she weeks. Stop doing, doing yoga. Oh, I, I ain't hate her. Y'all feel me? Oh, she look good, good. You can't be mad at her. Hey, your girl I look good as fuck too, shaking her ass. And, and it wasn't like she. And that was crazy. Like it wasn't like they was out there on like niggas and shit doing this shit. They was out there with their girls enjoying themselves. But the thing is, like, like, he no sauce to Santana. But, you know, I mean, but he gay, so yeah, it, it's yeah. fine. He's fine. Yeah, yeah. He's, you know I'm gonna say he's They are and everything. Like, they got bigger butt than them. About them and stuff. Like, they gonna yeah. do what they do. Like, that was like, I would never. They say the same stuff with my lips. Ain't no way in hell I'll wait 60 red. I wouldn't even proud to bring her home and show it to my family. I'd be ashamed if I was like, Dad, this is my lady. She's she just gonna be making that one face the whole time. Shout out to Courtney <laughs> Ray, dog. Yeah, she no, was the Ray. She's sexy. No. Oh. You all she got that me is. in now, bro. Wait, I mean, Coyle Ray got I mean, me. I mean, I mean, I mean, and I Ooh. never, bro, I, mean, I never fucked. Y'all don't it. think it's I weird. I never yeah, fucked with a skinny like girl Listen. before. Like a bony bitch ever, bro. You I'm don't think that it's weird that Coyle Ray made a song with Busta Rhymes. And the song is about, like, sex and dropping it, whatever the fuck it's about. It's not about wholesome shit. And Busta Rhymes is literally her dad's age. Oh, and, like, they came up together, right? Lay down for no, 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 the button. No, her, her, but the rhymes and her dad came up together. So I think that's just weird that they came out with a song together. Like she, she decided to come out with a song with Buster Rhymes. Like that's somebody like. Yo, I mean, I think that was a perfect good move. Yeah, she paid homage and shit. Get a legend on. But it's talking about sex. Find something else to talk about. What what's the wrong supposed to talk about? I don't know, but why? <laughs> the girl is literally your friend's daughter. Like, well, I don't know if they're literal friends. I don't think they're friends with Benzino. I mean, I don't think that they're friends, but you know. Sticking but, with the concept. I don't know. I don't know. Thinking, uh, your your co worker. No, Benzino is. Yeah, it's it's Benzino. Yeah. It's like your co worker. What the hell? <laughs> Peter Guns is. His children Peter are Guns got about 40 kids. Right, that boy, yeah. Ain't got about 40. You know who got 40? Uh, motherfucking like Stevie J. Yeah, you got a bunch of kids. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, him and Faith, they was divorced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to update my hard pass to Wiz Khalifa, because that's who I was missing. FYI, I been, that's been bugging me. Because that's who I was missing. My bad. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. What's that one for? Uh, Y'all see my man. Well, now that I watch the video over and over again, my man who cuffed Beyonce's ass cheek. Oh, he cuffed her cheek, the crew member. He he yeah, got a cuff in. Shit. Oh yeah, when he was uh helping her off the uh stage. And then that the, nigga reached out to her. And, and Julius went running because he couldn't get to her because everybody was like, Julius! Trying to get to him. So, hey, her yo, bodyguard hey, my man. Her famous, like her body, they be like, Julius. I saw what you did, did bro. But you know what? He it, chased them. It didn't look like she was a fan. It. No, it was no, one it was of the crew um, stage crew. Yeah, stage, oh, stage crew. They was helping her down oh. from like, she was on top of a bus. It looked like on top of a bus or something. And they were helping her down. And she had to turn around and come down because they had like the ladder and stuff. He and he it. literally, like you can see him go from right here on her back. He had it on her fucking back. And she had on like a skirt. He went under her skirt and, and you can see him do this. Damn. Damn. And Julius was pissed. He was going to risk it all for that little grab. I mean. I ain't going to lie. That shit ain't worth it, man. Tomorrow, Jay-Z, I'm like, find this nigga. Get him the fuck out of here. Look, <laughs> Julius already. Y'all should have seen. Y'all got to see the clips. Julius, he was pissed. He was like, you don't touch Beyonce. <laughs> Who the hell is Julius? Her bodyguard. Oh. And he's more famous. Like, she, her first couple shows. Yeah, like, he came out. Is, he is, came out on the bottom of the stage. She was on the top of the stage. She came out. And everybody was like, Julius, Julius. When she came out, and she got mad. She actually got true. mad. Was like, looking like, why the fuck is y'all cheering for this nigga? Like, I'm like, why the fuck you cheering for me? Yeah. <laughs> you better fuck my job. Bro. But shit, it's Julius. Yeah, that's no, how he was no, looking, too. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm cheering me. What the fuck? Y'all would have risked that shit and trying to touch Beyonce ass. No. No. I wouldn't get that shit. I think you would get part I mean, but honestly, like, when I was looking in comments, it's actually been getting mixed reviews. It was like, no. He didn't, he didn't grab her ass for it. Like, no, what if she fell backwards and shit? 
Everybody was kind of like for him doing that shit. Squeeze her booty cheek. But but then people was going as deep as to saying like, oh, you can see that his knuckles wasn't bent, so he didn't squeeze. He just like held his arm. Yeah, his but hand he out literally straight. went. Like, it was obvious. She was on the last step. But no. She was on the last fucking two steps. And he went from her literal back. And you see how he bent your knuckles You gotta go all the way around. But his shit was straight. Like, so they was like, oh, he just had his his palm out to make sure she fell back. This is, this is, this is, I'm the security guard. Hold it. This is Beyonce coming down. Security guard holding her back. And then she gets down to the last step and he goes like this. She got you, Flamingo. And then Beyonce goes, do, 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 do. But oh, yeah, he uh, went like this at I the know last step. I she her ass. Did Beyonce I know she say shit up? Yeah, she had to. Yeah, right. So it's like, okay, she, she didn't say take no offense to it. No, we don't know what she said at backstage. You don't oh, know what the fuck happened like, backstage. Oh, make sure you get that motherfucker. But you should have did stage crew. But that motherfucker was going to fall. Oh, for shit. Where you shining right here? You would have been your fault. They got but the same time, still be professional. No, like, he had it if he would have kept his motherfucking hand on her back. Yeah, he had I'll it. Be a stage crew, I just would have been like, you, you, you shouldn't even. That's basically what he did. But uh, if, uh, like, if she would have fell off, then he would have had her support. She only had one step to go. He could have just came, grabbed her hand, and was like, here, let me help you down. No, he helped her all the way. But he, he had her, her hand the, the whole time, time though. The, the correct way. He had her the correct way from the top. And yeah. then when she got to the bottom, he put and his then hand he put on it, her He was trying to like evenly. He knew that he, you can tell he knew he only had a couple seconds. Right. So I don't think that, that, that he groped her for real, y'all. Y'all, y'all was tripping. Black guy. White guy. Well, he definitely did that We'll show you the clip after He definitely did that shit. He got They got it down to a science, bro. They was like, dog, the indentations in his finger was even straight, bro. They was like. That don't mean shit. But his hands went to be happy. Here. Like, that, that, that's so y'all be happy. Man. You they can see his down. arm literally That was Beehive breaking it down. It wasn't me. Beehive broke it down. Beehive broke it down to the right. That nigga probably still be your right. I touched Beyonce's ass. Man, too. Right. Hey, he got fired. Got the shit down on his face. It was so small. Beyonce's ass. It was so small. Beyonce's ass. It was so small. That nigga getting a shot. I'm not watching this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Hell yeah. Hey, you smell that sick bastard, Julius. Oh. I wish you would jump this nigga. Yeah, Julius, let's go get his sick ass. Oh, what the you, fuck? What the fuck you touching Beyonce for, nigga? I'm touch her. He was trying to keep her safe, man. She would have failed. No, he was her. not. He he was Even at first. Uh, distribute the weight. I'm joking. I would have never. He gonna her distribute. Life. I wouldn't do no woman. Like he going I bet you that nigga. Where is he at? Bet you he missing. Julius gonna be playing. Or you like him, probably. Jay Z got Jay-Z, that nigga the fuck you got out Jay-Z of here. Jay Z and Julius on yo. You got that nigga to fuck out. Me and Jay Z been going to every every one of her contacts. Yeah, we got that nigga contact. We got this nigga all in. You get away with doing that shit. She yeah. would let you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she'll let you. She'll bust you in your shit. She'll start twerking on you. She'll bust you in your shit. He probably right about that shit. I'll take a punch from her though. Yeah, that bitch gonna punch me. I'll block that shit. Wait, your stupid ass. Sexy red got that. I laugh. I say, oh damn, my bad. I will keep it moving like that. Yeah, my bad. You about to fall, baby. She no, like that niggas she need to stop good. tripping over these females, dog. Like, please stop. Y'all niggas be trying. Y'all be killing these women. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. that uh, the leading women. That story. That just oh, happened. trigger warning. Yeah, my seven, bad. She had trigger warning. Kids. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, trigger warning. Uh, Powder in Atlanta. No, no, it was another one. Yeah, the girl in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, she had she four, had four, four boys. Her husband killed. The leader. Well, I'm this sorry, this one happened here. Yeah, well, yesterday or the day kids. before yesterday. She good. had seven kids that was going to um they were going through a divorce. Yeah, and he killed her. Same thing delete, with delete. them in Atlanta. The women were going through divorce and dude, I don't know. He say delete guys. He ended up deleting the delete. uh yeah, lady. Oh, shit. He had two I mean, kids, she had four kids. Yeah. Sorry, delete. her last two kids was by this dude, her husband. Yes, that like, is something. We need to stop that. Well, now I'm not gonna say we, but men yeah. that do that, y'all just. Cause I gotta. Yeah, it's no, that's fifty fifty for It's real. not worth it, dog. That's that's not worth it. It, but it ain't no, worth it. That's the mother of your ain't none of it worth it, bro. I don't give no. a fuck how bad it is. Women it's not to, worth it, bro. Women need to stop picking these type of dudes, <clears> and men definitely need to stop doing that. But no, they avoid it if they weren't messing with these dudes, though. So. Right. Like you know this nigga type and every time. But. I gotta get y'all, uh, uh, cause, uh, 
We'll come back to this, but I gotta give y'all the silk nigga of the week. Uh-huh. So, Ariana Grande has a movie coming out next year about the Wizard of Oz. She played like one of the witches. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, the dude <laughs> who's her co-star, he played like one of them little munchkins on there. Now, mind you, he's been with his uh, his wife. She's his high school sweetheart. And she just had a baby with him. Yeah. he been with her for a decade. He was hanging out with Ariana Grande. She was coming over to their house, playing with their little newborn son, baby just now. Like two weeks ago, he tells his wife, yeah, I want to get a divorce. Yeah. So so she's asking for a few days. She's like, why you want to get a divorce? He will never tell her. So she finally asked him again. She's like, why you want to get a divorce so bad? <laughs> this nigga says, because I'm in a relationship with Ariana Grande. Ain't that crazy? Who's man is this? How you gonna be in a relationship when you make the motherfucker? And the thing is, nigga, if you was hitting her, why you gotta leave your wife? Exactly. Right. Will Smith ass nigga. You already getting it, nigga. You're going to leave your wife of 10 that years who just had right. your baby. Because I, I, I know real life people the goofy where the dude is like, like fucking For around her wife. Like, why? Like, she just had your baby. I don't understand. Like, it, well, I mean, why? I get Ariana Grande is pretty. I'm not. I, I What's wrong with being no. the perfect side nigga and side bitch, dog? Exactly. I mean, be the perfect side nigga and side bitch. Ariana yeah, Grande is pretty and all that, but I'm not leaving my wife for her. Right. <laughs> like, the fuck you mean? Yeah, I ain't leaving my wife. I wouldn't leave my wife for anybody. Right. But at the same time, it's like me and could answer Tracy question in the words of my yeah. dog Chris Rock. Men are only as faithful as their options. But that nigga messed up because if you already hitting Ariana Grande. Why would you mess up a good thing? Who right. got your wife? Who got your kid? Who don't know shit about it? Right. Now, I would have stopped letting her come over there. That's exactly. your kind of if you got a good thing, you will be fucking with Ariana Grande to begin with, though. No, I'm saying, even me. Because I ain't gonna lie. Ariana Grande, though. If I'm married, that's Ari- the bitch you fucking Ariana Grande over your pretty, wife, bro. Pretty, pretty if, if I'm married, Ariana Grande wanna throw me some boxes. Ariana Grande ain't I might take the bait. She would have to give me that gawk gawk paralyzed she, by it. Right, just like, cheating. Just like the commissioner. Then, that's, that's still cheating. cheating. Then, then I'm cheating. You let her give you gawk No, no, I'm saying, then I'm cheating. Then. And like I said, I respect men that be like, 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 who be like, who be stubborn. Like, right, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't cheating on my wife. Right. I respect that cold heart. That take a strong man. And Montel so, Jordan is like that. Yeah, that like, take a strong man to. And that's just because if you cheat with Ariana Grande, you'll cheat with the chick that stay next door walking up the street. All that. Or, I wasn't cheat at all. I'm not a cheater. Like, uh, I'm not gonna say what well, something I won't do because I know me. I ain't never been put in that position like that. No, just, I'm loyal. Say bro. I'm, cheat like, on my wife. I'm loyal. Like once, if once we make it official, all right, it's me and you. That's it. I'm gonna tell my brother. I if I get a scent that you fucking around, then all bets is off. Then I'm just gonna. Now it's. My, my whole, I think the right woman would make you take the bait. My whole argument would Catch me if you can, motherfucker. It's, like, it's gonna be that guy. If I cheat, like, if my lady. get caught first. If, if I cheat on my lady and shit. That's I got cheated on. That's just what it is. Like, I ain't cheating, like, to leave her. Or it was just. These niggas get enough. Oh, forced her. Once I'm, forced her. I'm so nonchalant, bro, that these bitches just give up on me. Like. I'm like, damn. Like, bro, like, I can't win for losing nothing. I just want a nice, cool ass relationship, bro. Like, just track. Yeah, just want to have everything, like, all similarities. Like, have everything in common and shit. I'm telling you. Start just being bad. Get you some pookie in you. Yeah, start plotting to you. And move Wait to Atlanta. Atlanta. Some pookie. And move I to Atlanta. I hate to say it, oh, but I had to do that a little bit. Like, I'm like that. Yeah, 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 me. I be telling the chicks I smoke with, I'll be like, look here, baby. I'm out of your ball park. I'll be telling that. Right in their face, they like it. I ain't gonna, my lady friend, I was talking to her last night and shit. I was like, yo, I'm like, uh, let me slide up through when you get off the morning. Killing that bar too. No she numbers. was like, <laughs> I was running some games. She's like, why you wanna come up when I get off? I was oh, like, shit, what else is there to do? She's like, you just trying to get some coochie. I was like, shit, hell yeah. I'm like, you offer it. All right, I'm like, that's how you gotta be like, twice. it's just shame. But I was all nice and everything, like, oh, I care. Nobody <laughs> fucking with me. Yeah, but the thing is, women like is y'all think like 
<clears throat> the nice thing is cool and all, but we like when y'all be real. Like, just be real. What the fuck you want? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I be doing that's that's real. Real. My, my personality is like nice and chill back and everything, but it's like I had chicks be fucked telling me all the time, like, you too nice, thought I was a bitch, and all Damn. that. But when I, I, I ain't go that I don't But when I, I got to like yeah. nine in my house speaking and everything, and be like, you know, I ain't like, why you acting like that? Be thinking the shit funny and everything. I'm gonna just blame my Gemini dog because I be being mean. When shit, I get the I number get though, I, I be mean. That's what I'm mean. Nigga, yeah. when I get the number, I be romanticizing like a motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. Like, I am a romanticizer, nigga. I know how to romanticize, nigga. And then once we, but I, but I gotta date you though. Like, we gotta go out like eat dinner or something. We gotta go. We were supposed to go out on the day of dating, and yeah, that didn't even happen. So that changed. And hey, that's the thing. Did you ask her on the date? I waited till like a week. No, no, I don't ask. Like, like, you like ask. I'm saying you after asked, a week. No matter how long you wait, you ask, so. She gotta say something. Gotta she gotta say something, and then it just brought it to my attention in my mind. I was like, oh, click. I ain't even never even asked her out on a date. Yeah, no, no, and after, as a matter of fact, that was like the second week. No, I asked her like the second week. Yeah. Exactly. Tell her, going on the date. Like, exactly. Tell her when, like, tell yeah. her the time, right. and, and what to That's wear. Like, like, what kind of attire to wear. I was gonna go like, look, like, look, are you doing something Friday? She's like, no. I'm like, all right, look. I'm, I'm picking you up at six o'clock. Be ready. We going to the such such restaurant. Oh no, that, that was nice. Like, she oh, she right. was gonna meet me up there. That's yeah. so. You this... gotta tell me how. Tell me how that chicks love. She's she's gonna gonna meet me up there. Because we want to know that you made the effort to even try to do something for us. Like you made that effort to plan this out. What? That niggas don't do that. Niggas yeah. be like, "What you doing? Yo, fucking ass off." Well, why don't you set it up and let me know when you be there? Yo, no, motherfucking like, ass off. But see, you know yeah. what? All this shit that's happening now, I've been doing already. That's why I don't do it now. So that fucked me up. Cause back then when I really started like wanting to date, date for real, like when I wanted to be a grown up and actually date motherfuckers, it never went good, bro. So I'm like, yo, you busy Friday night? No, what's up? I'm like, all right, well, at this time, shit, we, I'm, uh, you either meet me at Chili's or I'll pick you up, go to Chili's, and then we go to Mount Clemens or some shit, and we take a little walk in the park and then get to know each other better. That shit never worked for me, bro, for some reason. No, like my lady. But now, that shit is hit. Like, nigga, what? We went out the other day. I was just like, and I ain't even playing. What the shit. fuck was I doing wrong? I or I'm just not as handsome as I thought I was. I just woke up and I hit her up. I was like, yo, I was like, uh, I'm gonna come and get you about like 12, and we're gonna go to such and such place. She was like, all right, what should I wear? I was like, wear clothes, motherfucker. That's it, that's, that's it. That's what she's like, they my shit, all right. That's exactly that's it. I always just say casual. We just need to know, just tell us what time to be ready and what kind of clothes. Like, do we need to be in, like, casual working out clothes? Like, do, do I need okay. to be dressy, dressy? Like, just let me know yeah. the type of vibe. No, and casual, then, be you. And, and, and I don't know what, I don't know why the fuck. some casual shit on. I don't know why the fuck, like. Some of the women can't process what fucking comfortable mean. Just come comfortable. Whatever the fuck. No, because I we talk, got different levels to come Yeah, to. I told her, what you want? Comfortable. We went to laser tag. I told him we got a girl. I said, where you going? I'm like, I'm going to play laser tag. I'm going to shoot your ass. You should have told her to wear clothes. Told her to shoot. Yeah, with Dave Buster. Shout out to Dave and Buster. Shout out to Dave. Man, Dave Man Dave shout out to CJ Barrymore. Yeah, we went, Barry. we went to play laser tag. That was a great day. Shout out to the fun shit. Shit, yeah, a lot of chicks like Shout to have barcade too, dog. Shout yeah. out to barcade. Don't think these chicks uh, uh look at you weird and you take her to an arcade or some shit. Right. They shout out to, like that shit. No, oh. shout out to just take romantic me, walks in the park. Take nigga. me to an arcade, like it do not take that much. Like yeah, I chicks love like arcades, arcades, concerts. You feel me? Uh, I'm looking for a bitch that want to play horseshoes and, with me, dog. And Let's and go to the park and play horseshoes, dog. And we like, like simple shit. We like simple shit. It's really about the quality time. Like damn, like what's the uh oh I need y'all help, bro, because I've been looking for uh pause, it's gonna sound crazy. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no, but this is innocent, it's gonna sound crazy, but I've been looking for some toys. Like the old toys, uh like how we used to have like the Here ball, the like the little here. sticky pad, and then we used to throw the balls and then they the stick. And then we used to play oh, that. I just seen that at the Dollar General. I seen it today. I was looking for them. And then Same what's question. the one with the curve? With the little curve thing? And then you said a ball. That's racket ball. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's racket. St. Clair Shores. Let me find Don't out. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, I think the house is toys. Racket ball. Whistle style. St. Clair Shores. It's on Harper. 
off Nine Mile. Mm. You know, it, it's called the Whistle Stop Hobby Hobby Store. Yeah. Cause me, my dad, and my sister was going there. They got everything like wait, from, cause this the one that's from more the like tennis to the ninth. You playing all, with me, right? All retro tours. No, they got the yeah, uh, the hot the one you put the one, you put the one all, on your foot. They got all of it. I'm gonna get that shit down. They all got little toy train sets from the fifties. They got every oh, type of Hot Wheels. Oh, yeah, wait, that's right around the corner from the crib. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. As you go up there, like you be like, oh, this shit, this shit legit. Yeah, um, 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 okay, all so it's almost yeah. like lacrosse. Okay, but except the things is 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 like they a round the curve though. Yeah. Yeah, but it's close to to okay. It's close. It's close to lacrosse. Okay. Well, shout I'm out to all the people we looking for that shit though, bro. But shit, but dates like that. My bad. Yeah. Yes, fellas, if you want to take a chick on a date, take her to get something to eat, a concert. Or some fun, she would love you. I, she would love the shit. Period. Out of you. Yeah. Period. I be taking chicks to concert. They be faces be light up. You gonna take me to a concert? Because it's a vibe. It's a whole. Yeah. Let me see how you like your your different. Let's see what type of music you like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like I like to see you... people in their true elements. Yes. Shit. Like that's it. Yeah, because yeah, me and my lady, my, my other lady friend, we can already go to the zoo. Miss. See, she like that. Like, ah, she love you. This is shit. <laughs> Try to see Vlad, dog. Yeah. So she be taking, taking her to the zoo. She'll be like, shit, all right. Yeah, you, you come to the zoo. I mean, who will turn down going to the zoo, though, for real? That's just bad, though. I was like, yo, I'm like, when the last time you've been to the zoo? I ain't been there since I was like a fucking kid. Had Tell her, her they got wolves now. Had her. Yes, they, they got do. wolves now. They got oh, wolves in that shit. I'm getting ready to take this down. They big as fuck, too. Oh, and the. Where y'all going? The aquarium on Bell Isle is open, too. Oh, yeah. Tuesday. Take a chick to the aquarium. When I get to Atlanta, Take I'm taking my chick to, to a Georgia in aquarium. Arbor. That shit cold. Yeah. Oasis in Ann Arbor. Yeah, I ain't never been to my heard that. I heard that shit. Hey, about. fuck that. I'm looking oh, for Golf. I'm looking oh, yeah, for a woman. Yeah, Look, yeah. we going up oh, north. You feel me? You feel me, boo? We going up to motherfucking. Uh, What's that? We like going up. Miniature, it's like a miniature golf place. Go glow in the dark. Oh, Ooh, what? Uh, top shot? No, it's called um, Putting put, put, put Edge. Where is it? Nova. Yeah, I heard about that. No, Nova got all the cold shit. Golf. And I want to go yeah. to that uh, full adrenaline place. They got like them fast ass go karts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They just oh, opened we got, up oh, um, a golf place in a hotel. In a hotel. Hey, look. I ain't got no damn sense. We got to try and get a camera in there. We need to get some go-kart race in there. We need to get some go-kart race in there. I said, yeah, um, take a girl major major golfer. You know what I'm saying? So you can see her bend over while she cut that ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. See that thing poking out. Yeah. Oh, we. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Do it. It's like that. Here go another question. Okay. You and your spouse or girlfriend, or whatever. What's your ideal vacation spot? Oh, we got different ones. Cause ideal vacation, we ideal vacation, vacation spot. anywhere in the world. I swear, I just always wanted to go to Istanbul, dog. Istanbul is, is Turkey is my dream spot to go to. Istanbul, Turkey, Jamaica. Because I think when when Fifty Cent and them when they was doing the G Unit tours on YouTube and shit, like when they was going to different. Uh, I think, what album was that? Uh, I wanted to say Terminate On Sight, or I probably Terminate On Sight when it was going all over. And nigga, when they used to do 50, they used to put out footage on this 50, like where G Unit in Istanbul. And nigga, places where they was at, nigga was just so fucking fly, dog. And I was like, dog, that shit is so cold, bro. I want to go to Istanbul now. Okay. So ever since then, I always wanted to go to Istanbul, Turkey, dog. And real, you said Jamaica? Yeah, definitely. And why Jamaica? Shoot, that's sunshine, man. Sunshine. Sunshine. You say you about to take a chick to Jamaica? No. No, no. So the question, <laughs> what, the topic is, you and your spouse, what, what's the idea of vacation spot yeah, where you would take well, well, I'm taking jerk a chick chicken. to Jamaica, that's your spouse. Jerk chicken, you get the, the, the sliced yeah. mangoes and shit. Well, cut I'm saying no to some sunshine and some water. I'm taking my chick to yeah. Disney World. Yeah. Disney World? Okay. Sis, Sunshine. you've been in Jamaica, right? No. You ain't been in Jamaica? No. I want to go to, um, 
Me again, me and my small staff I thought she didn't get about everywhere Because dog. I'm a tourist, I like to be out and shit So yeah. I don't know what the fuck, he just wanna be chilling He wants to pay all that money just Follow her money. page too, man For I, real. I, like I wanna go to uh, I'm the same way. I wanna go to Greece that's Reese is on Reese. my bucket list. Yeah, Reese uh, got white sand. That's in my top clear, five. Blue, you feel clear, me? And, and you clear can see and, and, and the yeah, way that it's their bright, houses blue. is structured, yeah. this it's fucking gorgeous, right? That's in my top five. And then five. I also yeah, want to go to uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yes, yeah, that's, 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 that's my top five. That's my top five. That's my that's in my top five. Amsterdam. Top five. Yeah. All the fucking they got the they got the they have the sex workers in the window. dancing and shit. Like, come on in, come get me. I watched that movie Hostel earlier. Yeah, we're in there. Yeah, ain't that oh, funny? Like, it's not you was watching funny. House. And then weed is legal. I mean, weed's legal here now, but like, it's yeah, just no, so it's like, legal. It's like federally legal over there. Like, it's like beyond legal. It's like a part like, of life. No drug test. Right. It's literally yeah, a part of life over there. So I just want to go. I want to go to Amsterdam or Greece. That's, those are my two places. What about yeah. yours? Now we own that, bro. We should do a top five. Do we, have, we got some time to do a top five. Wait. Uh, we got it's 2.30. We don't. Nah. Dang, yeah. I mean, my, idea, anyway. my idea of vacation spot, I got two. It'll be either, it'll be either Toronto oh, yeah. or Dubai. Mm. But I'm, I'm leaning, Toronto, I'm leaning towards Dubai. Is top five. I'm leaning towards Toronto because it's just like that whole ambiance just be chill as fuck. Really. And oh, it's Toronto. easy to get to. It's only like yeah. two hours, two three hours. I love vacation in Toronto. Yeah. And it, yeah, yeah, honestly, not the winter time. Yeah. They winter is they they worse than here. Yeah, not yeah. winter time. I love being in Dubai. When uh, I go to Georgia, I can never come back up here in the winter. Like, they're they're not not not. Another date, I, another date idea that's underrated. Nigga, take a trip to Niagara Falls. Nigga, Niagara yes, Falls is literally yeah. like about four hours and three minutes or thirty Niagara minutes away. Niagara Falls, man. Man. Yeah. trip to go. Four hours and three minutes, thirty minutes away. I keep saying three, nigga, because I did it when it, when I was on the turnpike, nigga, when I was at work. I was like, dog, I wonder how far from my house or wherever to get to Niagara Falls. That'd be lit, bro. Go down there on the little ferry boat and see it up close. You ain't never been on the boat? Hell yeah. Oh. Huh. But I'm just saying, go back now? Because I mean, that, I was a little I boy when shit. I went. I was like, yeah, I was a little boy when we went back. I think I was like 12 or 13. I was scared as shit. No, I was younger than that. Going up under that motherfucker. Yeah, 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 I was like eight. I go home. Yeah, I was Those like eight. Those streams like really powerful. Like, yeah, like, uh, we was like, like this and we get hit in the face. Yeah, That's why you know they had that shit on, but you yeah. was getting... <laughs> we had the, what's that the shit the yeah little little, little and all yeah, that yeah they, it looked like they give you the um, ponchos I call yeah, them yeah yeah there was a little boy that fell over in that shit too when we did he die? yeah I remember oh they they be having people down there that uh, yeah, I think people did that yeah yeah, 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 yeah but. that motherfucker I I didn't see it because that's when I was when that shit went under you couldn't see shit I went and just grabbed the first pole I could see I was holding on that bitch for dear life so but look, shit like so that don't take my kids. But shit yeah. like that would be just I, nice. I like, just, like take a trip to Niagara Falls, man. Like take a trip to Niagara Falls. Uh, another idea, like shit. I'm just like, I want to just start driving places, like shit. Yeah, yeah, day trips in Michigan. It's oh, on, I'm, I'm, in city, Michigan and country beautiful. Yeah, because you like, like uh, Traverse City too. Traverse like, City. In there. Yeah. I heard that was beautiful. I want to yeah, take a trip out there. We actually got an out of wild Michigan out here. Idle Wild, Michigan. That's got, a vibe up there. We got a hell, Michigan, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. It's on Atlanta, Texas. Yeah. yeah. It's a city in Texas called Atlanta. What's the one I'm thinking about, though? Uh, uh, Mackinac? Mackinac City with, with Mac the bridge? You talking about, yeah, Mackinac yeah. Island. No, uh, Mackinac Island. Yeah. Go to Mackinac Island. That's one of my, I want to go to Mackinac Island. That's one of my go-to. Huh? It is. Everybody says it's haunted. And Bigfoot lives. I was at a haunted um, little Bigfoot hotel lives, in Pennsylvania, though. Bigfoot lives in the UP. Hey, look okay. it up. It's real. I ain't trying to end this. You know, it's like nineteen percent off, but I just got the text. Oh uh, so shit! Y'all wanna wrap this up? Yeah. Got that, he got his time. Come through, get that gawk gawk text. <laughs> This lady do it two thirty all that shit. You know, like, hey, Will Smith as nigga. <laughs> this the one without the kids. Right. He got oh. the gawk gawk text. Oh, you. She was gonna turn it up a notch on your ass. 
I can't speak about Deliver my day room activities, but we can just wrap this up. <laughs> so we can go wrap it up. <laughs> All right, well, um. <laughs> pop smoke, probably. Hey. Oh, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, so who? Never mind. No, we got like 18% left off real. No, because I was going to ask one thing. Um, hold on, what other topic? Somebody say something. Oh, I had a topic. Football back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Break the football. Break that boy. Justin Herbert got that five year extension, 200 like so million. Shout out real quick to Planet Fitness. Yeah, shout out to Planet Fitness. Y'all can sign up we, uh, from now to the 10th of August for $1. And it's $10 a month, $50 annual fee. I have, I've been working out four, five days a week. Yeah. Shit feel good. Put the baby back ribs, cheese sticks, and, uh, and that all that other fat ass shit down. Up Get your like, big ass in the gym. Up to like two hours a day. I like my big ass. Shout out to Slum Dogs, too, dog. Yeah, Shout yeah, out to yeah, Slum yeah. Dogs, Far, dog. Yeah. You know, I can't fuck with I them. I heard they was shit. Yeah, 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 shit. Shit is fire. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. Y'all want to get help? I found some. Huh. Go in there. Get your work. Be real. You can be working out at Chrysler. Yeah, take advantage of your gyms and shit. Oh, extend your life. Extend your life. I'll be in here doing kung fu and shit. Just be push ups. Any shit. type of workout. Yeah, any type of activity. I ain't gonna say workout. Any type of activity. Right. Where your blood is flowing. And you I'm trying to be sharp. Got some stuff in here. Yeah, yeah cause me, him, and Keezy be going four, five days a week. I've yeah, been that's doing yoga. Um, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's great exercise. Great yeah. meditation. I love. Keep yoga. doing it. Keep doing it. Yeah. Like I said, any type of movement, physical exercise, do it. Your physical health is just as important as your mental health. You feel me? Yeah, I ain't going tonight. I'm definitely going tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going tomorrow. I'm probably going Monday too. All right, somebody finish this uh, sentence for me. I've never done blank in my car while driving. Something you never done in your car while driving. Oh, shit, no, I, drive. I mean, but something that you never did in your car. Can't think of nothing? No, I ain't never did it. Yeah. I never drove an eight. My okay, me and you, because that was mine. Like, I, I never, I don't eat while I'm driving. Yeah, yeah, like, I never ate drove. If it's a cheeseburger, you can do it. It's in the restaurant. Yeah, I, I mean, not a Big Mac, but a cheeseburger. Yeah, I don't have that. And you can't, really nothing at all. I never... I never drove the smoke either. I was smoking both. Yeah, that's one thing I never did. I never smoked before. Really? Yeah, I never smoked before. Yeah, because it was interesting. Because I did a lot of shit except for eat while driving. Everything else I was just about to do. I mean, what else did you do? do? Uh, oh, you could do a lot while driving. I never did a hit and run while driving. Wait. <laughs> He's got to Would that make sense, though? <laughs> a hit and run while driving? Never mind. Yeah, I guess that would. I'm out. I am. I mean, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's there, but I mean, yeah. I never fought while, yeah, I, I mean, never fought while driving. Yeah, okay, there you go, know, that's cool. Physically fighting. No, yeah. like yeah. Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm talking about. You, you I'm out. talking about when she pulled yanked that, that that steering wheel. You just said that. No, no. That oh yeah, when she no, yanked that steering wheel on the freeway, nigga, no. yeah, what it up. No, no. Like that to you. Let's not do yes. that. Let's not do that. Her. Let's do yeah. with your friends, fighting with your friends or an op while you're driving, like a legit fight. Not oh, like, uh, I got into it with my boyfriend. Yeah, that's dangerous as fuck. They used to have shootouts while driving, so, so yeah, it's a lot of shit. I never got in a shootout while driving, that sounds crazy. I ain't never been in a shootout at all. Fucking crazy. My dad wanted to get into a shootout. He used to take me to school one year. Jeez. Uh, it was his car. Jesus. It was his car on the side on that cut him off or something. Yeah. So he started going off. Yeah. He just like, yeah, he was like, you got a gun, like he like, pull your gun out, pull my gun out, and we can go. <laughs> I was like, no, well, I'm in this bitch. Hell yeah, no. Because at that point, it turned to the Wild Wild West. Nigga, like, hell, yeah, okay, I don't know. Like, make sure. Drop me off right here, Dad. Drop you me off right here. He did that shit, too. He, he, yeah, he would have did it. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Gotta have that motherfucker ready, boy. Like, hold on. You 
know, you know, you know, you know, that's how shit happened. Don't put my life in danger because you got road rage. Damn. Hey, but you know, close this point out. Let's feel it. We got some less to say. It's 15% that time going down. Is this trend? Is this trend with fans throwing shit at, at these artists on the stage? It's gonna gonna stop anytime soon. I think not. No, it's Cardi. What they say? Let, of course, Cardi gonna just pay some niggas off because she threw that microphone at that that one bitch. Who? Cardi. Cardi B. She told them to hit her. She spray threw her the microphone water, but not on her girl. face. Yeah. And that girl, they still spray her on the face with the water through the cup, and it hit her in the face, and yeah. she threw the microphone right after. Yeah. And, and didn't even hit the girl who threw the, the shit. She hit a random yeah. girl. Damn. No, that, yeah. You know, it ricocheted. She hit the she hit the one girl, and then hit the girl next to her. And now the girl next to her is following the law. Oh, and she I want two, I yeah. two million dollars and an autograph from Offset. <laughs> What? Oh, that's petty as fuck, but I like Why it. Why you want Offset on the ground? Because it pissed her off. I like it. No, I fuck Offset. I, I, I like that pettiness. She said, <laughs> splash me, in my, splash me anywhere but my face. And the girl said, here's a cup of water in your face. Yeah, because she was asking them to spray her. Like, yeah, like. Why she want them to spray her anyway? She was, they was spray, no, I was spraying you, though. Know. Oh. In the daytime performing. You know, and it was hot out. You know, it was hot as fuck. But she, to be fair, she said spray my, yeah. my JJ, not Gucci. spray my face. She literally said the my cat. JJ, not my face. The cat. And the girl still just took the whole last bottle and was like, Ooh. damn, ice popped up on her damn head. And she, she like, bit the. But fans, homegirl, they got fucked up. They had to get stitches because homeboy threw yeah, the phone right. at her face, nigga. She had to get stitches. Some white girl, I think. Wow, shit, dog. Fucking octopuses is aliens. Um, the aliens are niggas from Africa, from outer space. Niggas, we good. And we not tripping on what y'all white folks saying. Stop talking about Trump is getting indicted because y'all not going to arrest that white man because he got all the, the dirt on y'all. So stop playing the game. With Trump 2020, it's hot. He about to be the next president. He about to be the next president again. So just stop. 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 Joe Biden didn't cancel your student loans. It's over. Right, motherfucker. Us they, niggers are educated now. Us niggers can they, read and write. They said they coming for my shit. And we I'm can talking. arithmetic, okay? We understand on what's going on. Stop. Yeah, I'm going to get on the too, ain't no way in hell I'm about to be paying 40 something thousand dollars back at one time. I ain't Every fucking day I get a notification on fucking Apple News. Oh, Trump is getting indicted about something. No, he ain't. Nigga, yeah. no, no. It sounds good, that but stop. Well, That's Cosby my last word. Who? Bill Cosby. Say what again? For what, 1931? Get the fuck out of here. But bitch, you still living? You still living? Go sit your Don't fuck with him and his comedy special didn't come out yet. Because I'm waiting on his new comedy special to come out. Tiny, weak ass hoe. No, he out. He got a comedy special. He already hit three. He signed it. He's right back in. He, yep, he got a comedy special coming. They working on it. I want to see that shit. I was about to come back and be like, let me tell you bitches something. <laughs> Y'all was talking about me. Y'all was talking about me when a little nigga threw the hot dog bun at me and then we ain't going to get it. They wanted to just don't put these back in the 60s and the 70s. And they, took they, they took it willingly. They took it willingly and they want some money. No, fuck you. Bitch. Yeah. Oh yeah, and your mental health is important too. I feel like I always forget to mention that, but it really do be deep in my soul though. Your mental health is important too. Ain't no problem with seeking seeking help. Absolutely. Even if you don't seek seek help, it's understandable. You know, we all go through shit. We all gotta deal with it and cope in different ways. You know, so. Rest in peace, Angus Cloud, once again. Rest in peace to Paul Rubens. Rest in peace to everybody that we lost, man, for real. Everybody you lost, everybody we lost. And uh, whoever, any more. Yes, sir. You? Yes, sir. Already, I'm sorry. You just bubbly now, ain't you? He's you know, so bubbly. Boy, you bubbly. I'm a police commissioner. When I said I ain't never seen Corey already be ready to go, like. <laughs> 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 I'm like, 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 I'm like,
right. No, I'm leaving the shit here. Right. Yeah, yeah. Here and shit, so. You didn't push the chair back. Oh, See Vlad all bubbly? What? See Vlad is just. Y'all cutting it to my gawk gawk channel. He had like 11% though, so. Oh, yeah, we go. That 11% about to turn into 5 real quick. Oh, we have 5% now. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Oh shit, we half percent. Hurry the shit up. Oh shit, the red light might start blinking, everybody. Hey, well, you know. hey, hey he behind the camera doing hey, this. Up, man. Look, he it's doing this behind the camera. Wrap it up. Angel's out right look, now. Look, look his ding ain't doing this. Oh. Ding a ain't doing this. Wrap oh, it up. Oh, stop being weird. Okay. And right. before I forget, shout out to my man Trey. Uh, His uh, new video, two yeah. minutes is out. Shout yeah, out to Dave yeah, Slow for the yeah, drop. Shout out to my boy Trey. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Shout out to Two shout minutes, out. man. Go, yeah, go streaming right now. Timeless yeah. record shit. Shout out to Dave Slow for doing the drop for him. That's a good look. So. Yeah. That part. Elevated stuff to say. Close us out, Max. Yes, sir. Angels video out now. Angels video out. Yeah, yeah, check Angels that video. out. All in coming. Yes, sir. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. You come. One thing is Every certain. Every quarter after that, too. Two things for sure. I'm gonna keep on clowning. Well, of course I'm gonna keep on clowning. Then they gonna somewhat clown. Till we can't clown no more. You feel? Sock it to me. Yeah. What's Love, up? happiness, and all that other shit. Make sure y'all say what up though to Flamingo, aka what have you done for me lately? Oh, shout outs to my man right there, Flamingo. And invest in Bitcoin. Yeah. All in, and all in Papa Dot built different. Perfect. Yeah, not built like us. Yep. Yeah. Yup. Yeah.